Welcome back, my dear life folks, to another video. In this one, I will be talking about World Trigger, the manga specifically, because I watched some of season one of the anime when it first ever came out, and then I was very disappointed when they decided to do filler of a manga series that was way ahead of a anime, right? So I am going to be positive in this, I guess, the recommendation. It's not it's gonna be like a spoiler-free review, right? Uh, I'll probably make it part of my Worth It or Not series. I don't know yet, right? So, World Trigger. It's a great manga. I really do enjoy it. It's a very fun series. Like, it's it's very fun. And it's a show, right? So, I actually read World Trigger a long time ago. When they first... Not when it first came out. Not when it first came out. But around when this, it was still a newer series. Maybe 50 chapters in or something like that. And... I, what captivated to the series was how different it was. It was like, yes, there was monster, these monster type things that were attacking humans, but their characters were very interesting. And I like series where the characters matter. Like there's a couple characters in the series where I'm like, all right, they're really cool. Now, this is the thing. When you have a big cast of characters as well, yes, I care about some of the characters a lot more than usual, but then there's also way too many characters and sometimes I'll remember their names, which is uh, the manga is good by reintroducing them or it's putting their names on the chapters or whatever. And which is fine. Right. But it's just such a big cast. Like I'm like, the funniest thing is I remember some characters in this manga just because of what weapon they use. Like, I don't know if the mangaka made that intentional, like, all right, let's give this character this weapon so the, the audience, the fans can remember them, right? But it, it, it is funny. Now, there are some characters where I'm like, okay, who, who was this guy again? What, 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 what team was he part of again? So the manga is actually written and illustrated by Daisuke Ashihara. Uh, Ashihara, sorry about that. And Ashihara, the mangaka, has been very sick lately. Um, so... This is why World Trigger has been on hiatus a lot of the time. And I'm, I remember that there was an article that he was on hiatus for... Uh, yeah, Daisuke, was on, Daisuke Ashihara was on hiatus for a long time and then came back because of health issues. And they're on hiatus right now again, which is completely fine. You know, get all your the rest you need because you have made an amazing series. And I really just enjoy the series so much. Now, my favorite character is on the series so i'm looking at the character list right now is osamu and yuma and chika like that three uh main trio they're really awesome and if you watch my jujutsu kaisen review in my latest episode of the grappler anime podcast which is episode six which is the start of the podcast right i actually talked about jujutsu kaisen having my favorite trio in anime and manga right normally i don't like all the three trio members for example in naruto i like them all but Sakura, I wish they did more with her. And then in Kaizen, I like all of them equally. Like, they're all awesome. And then in World Trigger, I like all, all of them equally as well. Like, Osamu, Yuma, and Chika. Like, they all have their own strengths and weaknesses. And I really like that about the series. They are all interesting characters. They all have interesting backstories. And then another character I like is uh, Jin as well. Jin is like a big brother mentor type figure is like what Konohamaru is to Boruto in the Boruto series and I, I like the role that he plays he's a very powerful character but the mangaka makes him step to the sidelines sometimes because it's like we can't just rely on Jin all the time and then he also have a, had a very he also has a very powerful weapon let's just say that because I don't want to uh, give any spoilers I really do want you to check out this series this manga is really good I don't know about the anime I heard the anime gets better after season one that season three is amazing but just reading this is just so great if you want to catch up fast and you're a fast reader like me then definitely read it so let me give you the synopsis that annie list gives of world trigger a gate to another dimension has burst open and from it emerge gigantic invincible creatures that threaten all of humanity earth's only defense is a mysterious group of warriors who have co-opted the alien technology in order to fight back another thing with world trigger that's awesome I, I, I don't remember if I read Gantz or this first. I think I read I think I think read Gantz first. But it's, it's really cool how it reminds me of Gantz in the sense that they use the alien technology. That's it. But other than that, Gantz in this is completely different. But yeah, 
great series, great manga. I definitely do recommend it. I read 186 chapters thus far. There are 200 in 17 chapters i believe so i could catch up easily it's been weeks though it's been a uh, couple of weeks maybe a month since i read the series because i got into some other stuff but i definitely will catch up to this one and i'm in no rush to catch up because i know like uh there will be chapter delays from here uh from time to time so world trigger great series very fun characters are awesome i like the story thus far it's not boring or anything like that and they actually do train in this manga like i, I love training arcs because it shows you like the characters are working hard to become stronger to combat like bigger threats it's not like oh i believe in you no they actually use a lot of strategy especially the protagonist osamu uses a lot of strategy in the series which i really do like i like strategic characters in anime and manga like shikamaru from naruto or other characters that use use strategies like Midoriya from My Hero Academia. It's not like, oh, I'm just gonna fight. I'm really strong. No, he's like Osamu. Uh, that's another thing I like. He's he's an underdog protagonist. He's on the weaker side, but he still tries to find ways to help his team no matter what. So yeah, I almost said a little bit too much, but that's it. Overall, World Trigger, great series. I believe I have it. Yeah. Oh no, I don't even have it on my annual list. Wow. So I, I, I'm going to give it a solid 8 out of 10. It's a really great read. Really great read. So hopefully you enjoy this one and peace.